new from Eureka is Royal Warriors. After Yes Madam, I was a little bit curious about what I was going to get with this film. We've lost Cynthia Rothrock, but we gain a couple of other action co-stars here. The basic story is all about uh, Madame Michelle, who is a Hong Kong police officer. She's on a plane, uh, there happens to be an air marshal on there, and there also happens to be a Japanese uh, police officer as well. And when the plane gets hijacked, these three uh, jump into <laughs> what is undoubtedly a fantastic action set piece to help save the day. Although people die, there's grenades going off, people are getting sucked out of windows, it is the most traumatic um, city attack on a plane if you're just a passenger, but my goodness, for an action spectacle, it's just utterly stunning. And these three people are lauded as heroes, rightfully so, they saved the day. But they had to kill a couple of bad guys in doing that. And it turns out that these bad guys had friends. Friends who hold grudges. And we find out later on why they're holding that grudge and what made them such strange uh, friends. But that comes into place later on, like I said. And we have our three heroes targeted for revenge from the bad guy who will stop at nothing to terrorise, hunt and kill our three heroes. <laughs> now, there is tropey elements within this. We have the, the Japanese Yakamoto character who um, has his loving wife and daughter and who just wants to quit the force and settle down and just have a nice life with his family. We get Michael, the kind of jokey element police officer here, who really does like Michelle Yeoh's character, Michelle. I'm very difficult. This girl doesn't like it. It's so good. I'm very difficult. I'm going to And he's a little bit funny or intended to be funny, it doesn't always land. He's definitely interested in her and makes that clear to know. So you've got a burgeoning relationship there and you have the weight of people who could possibly die. And uh, this is one of those movies where not everybody's gonna make it to the end, which adds a good deal of weight to the film itself. Now the action set pieces in this one are utterly terrific. They are jaw dropping, whether it be the plane attack at the start, whether it be in the bar, that crazy fight sequence, whether it be Michelle Yeoh fighting the main bad guy uh, with a chainsaw at the end, where she has to kick him in the throat to stop him. <laughs> it's crazy and it just goes a little bit over the top but not so much that I really cared at that point because I was with the story, I was with the characters and when it gets silly later on, I'm with it. When Michelle Yeoh turns out driving an armoured vehicle, I was like, yeah, why wouldn't she be doing that? It's crazy, over the top, but damn perfect. This is most definitely a movie for action fans. The action is downright terrific. There isn't too much downtime in the 96 minute running time. It's just kick-ass action sequence after kick-ass action sequence. And they're all absolutely fantastic. Highly recommended. <laughs> I liked Yes Madam, I think I preferred Royal Warriors just, and I'm looking forward to moving on to In the Line of Duty 3 and 4, which I'm expecting good things from. The pedigree has already been laid down here. Uh, yes, Royal Warriors, definitely pick it up if you're into these kind of movies. If you enjoyed Yes Madam, you're going to like this one. So, pick it up. There's some great extras on this disc. Let's dive in, have a little look. So here we are in the disc for Royal Warriors. We have the Cantonese Mono theatrical mix. We have the Cantonese Mono home video mix. 
we have the English mono with the classic dub and we have the 5.1 surround home video dub. We've got an audio commentary by Frank Jeng and an audio commentary by Mike Leader and Arne Wienema. Uh, now, I haven't listened to these commentaries as yet, but I love having them on the discs and they are two of my favourite Asian uh, commentary specialists, I suppose, well, the team of Lida and Venema. In the special features, we've got a conversation with John Sham uh, made at the 2018 Far East Film Festival. This is 33 minutes, 26 seconds long. Talks about how he's now moved away from film production into actually building cinemas, uh, naming Michel Yo and some of his favourite movies that he's worked on, amongst other stuff. Uh, we have Royal Warriors and Yes Madam Filming Locations, which is 10 minutes 22. This has Mike Leader and Arne Venema talking around various locations, how they look now and how they were back when they were first made. It's really, um, as location footage goes, some of the best. And the trailer is 4 minutes 39 seconds in length. So there we go. Royal Warriors is out uh, I hope you're going to pick it up or at least check it out if you're into these kind of movies. Did you like Yes Madam? Are you going to be checking this one out? Have you seen this film? Did you love it? Hate it? Fall somewhere in the middle? Let me know in the comment box below. We can have a little chit chat about the film. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you are interested. And in the description box below are links to the Patreon, manvfilm.com and the membership programme. All ways in which you can help support the running of this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.